today you will see how we can able to add Google Earth image into our JS port. So like suppose you are having this ArcGIS block. So in the ArcGIS Pro, we'll choose uh, desired location, which higher resolution image we want to add in ArcGIS Pro using the georeferencing process. We'll search for any particular location. So I'll search here for the Mumbai. So this grids I don't want, so I will remove this grids from here. And I will choose any image like So for this portion, I'm interested to add there. So what we'll do here, first we'll arrange the north. Okay. After arranging the north, here is the add place option. Is the add place. Okay, we'll take this this and we'll shift here from that we'll get the coordinates from that is in degree tc so like i will add one point here then don't change the screen now okay don't zoom in or zoom out just add four places so i'll shift here and this is the second point. Now, this is the third point. And it's the last point. Mm -hmm. So after adding these four points, I want to save this. So save image option is there. So I'll click on the save image. Now from here, from here, I don't want this title, then this legends. Also, I don't want scale, this scale, then this compass and everything I don't want. I'll click on save. Then which resolution we want. So I will keep the by default resolution, whatever it is coming. If you want to export in a higher resolution, you can export a higher resolution. Then I'll just click on the save options, the save image. So the folder we are working will go to that location. So D drive. Here I will add a Google image. Just click on save. So we are saving this image in JPG file format. So same image will open here in a JS block. So from here, I will take a new map. Then we'll go to the folder where we have kept our file. I will refresh the folder. And from here, I will add this Google image. So this is the unknown coordinate system. If I right click, zoom to layer, we'll see this image is coming somewhere here in the ocean. Okay. 
but this image is belong to mumbai location okay this image is belong to this mumbai location so we have to send this image to that accurate position so for that we need to do geo referencing okay in the session when we have seen how to do geo referencing we need to do the same procedure as well so first we need to go to imagery in the imagery there is a geo referencer option is that geo referencer once we click on the geo referencer the first thing is that we need to set yes or yes okay so here you will see the different options that is a layer geography coordinate system and projected coordinate system so we need to go to geography coordinate system in that there is a world okay. in that there we need to go to yeah we need to go to world and in that there is a wgs 1980 so i'll select this wgs 1984 click apply and click ok so your map will shift just right click zoom to layer okay now we are having coordinate for these locations so that coordinate will get from here need to go to again google pro and from here just right click and properties we'll get this coordinate from here okay so this is the first coordinate add control point option is there so first left click right click okay here we need to add x we need to add a longitude and the y we need to add latitude and just click okay so first point we have added similar way i will add another point so right click properties copy this longitude then add a control point we have taken left click right click so i'll paste this values latitude and longitude just click ok then our map will shift to the position whatever the lat we have provided so again just right click zoom to layer So now you can able to see it is connected to the location where it is below. But we need to add yes. more two coordinates for more accuracy. So then we'll take this third point. Then copy this. Left click, right click. Add this. Again, copy this and paste it here just click on ok now uh, the last point we need to add just right click then go to properties copy and paste it here just click ok so we have added our four coordinates and after that adding these four coordinates if you want to save it you can click on the save or if you want to keep this file as it is and you want to save as a new file you can click on the save as a new then in each folder when you want to save this that folder location we need to provide so i'm working in this folder I have created a Google map. Here I will save. I will provide name. GRF. After that, Google image. Then I will click on save. And here I will select as a TIFF file format. I want to save this in TIFF file format. Then the important thing is that we need to provide this data that is wgs1984 another thing will keep as it is and we'll just click on export once i'll click on export we'll be able to see the same file we have added here you can also add a base map here to imagery 
the map, there is a base map section you can see. So now, well, I check and check it. We're able to see this. It's coming on the same location where this file is belong. This way, very easily, you can able to add Google Earth file, which is on GeoReference. And we can able to GeoReference it in our GIS port. And we can able to add here. OK? So are you getting? Yes, so I got my mistake. I used to. I put that degree symbol also in that coordinate all of them. So that was the error which was happening. So now, uh, if I want to add a cable file, okay, so suppose I, mean, I have digitized some feature and that I want to add here. So that also we can able to add. So we we'll put to the here and let I will digitize some feature here. So this building footprint, I will digitize. To digitize this, like I will create a new folder there. That folder. That digitization. So I'm interested to digitize in ArcGIS. Uh, I'm interested to digitize in Google Earth Pro and the same file I'm interested to add in ArcGIS. So for that, I will create a one folder here, digitization, and click OK. And in the digitization, I will digitize some feature here. Like these are the building rooftop I'm interested to digitize. So I can take a polygon feature from here. Okay. And this building footprint we can able to digitize. Okay. Then you can able to provide name here. Building one. Then, like, suppose this build the rooftop I'm interested to digitize. This rooftop we digitize. So, also, I'm interested to add some point feature here. Okay. Like these are the polygon feature which digitize. Then, suppose you want to digitize the shoreline or anything, then you can able to digitize in line feature or you want to digitize the road. So, road also we can able to digitize in line feature. So, this is the head path option is there. So, just take this path and this. I will digitize the road center here. Road center. So I'm roughly digitizing it. Suppose I want to stop here digitization. So I'll stop and I will add here road. So I have digitized the center of the road then like some water bodies there that also we can able to digitize using the polygon feature and some location name is given here that location name also we can add here like this four point also i'm interested to add so this four point i have already added point feature that I will add here in the digitization folder. Okay. So I have this point feature. Then I'm having this polygon feature. And also I'm having the line feature. Okay. Point, line, and polygon. Again, I'll digitize one more road here. So we'll stop here. So 
So I have digitized the polygon feature, then line feature, and also I'm having some point feature. Okay. The point feature, you can add this uh, locality name as well. If you want to add the locality name here. So by the locality name, you can able to see that also we can able to take as a point feature. These are the vegetation cover as well. You can able to digitize building footprints. Anything whatever our area of interest is that we can able to digitize. And after digitization, I'm interested to add this in RGS program. So I have added everything in this folder, digitization folder. So I will just right click, then places, save places as option is there, save places as. I'll just click on here. And after that, we need to save in a folder where we are where we are working. So I'm working in the same folder. And I will add here as a KML file. KML stand, stand for keyhole markup language. And I will save here. So this same file will open there. So here we need to go to geoprocessing tool. Okay. View geoprocessing tool. In the geoprocessing tool, there is a conversion tool. Is there conversion tool? The conversion tool, KML option is there. KML. Okay. KML option is there. And in that KML, this is the we are having KML file. So we need to convert KML to layer. KML to layer. Just click on the KML to layer. And we need to browse file which we have saved. So we we'll click here. So I have saved file here and I will refresh it. Okay. So I can able to see this digitization KML file. I'll just select then okay. And what are the name you want to provide? And wherever you want to save, you can able to provide output location, but I will keep by default. And I will just click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, can able to see we are getting that point which we have taken from the equivalent. So you can able to check here, all the three features is coming. That is building which we have digitized and the road which we have digitized. So everything is coming like this point feature, four points we have taken, that is coming. This line feature is coming. And also this polygon, which we have digitized so coming. So we can able to check this polygon. You can able to change the color of it. Okay. So for the color we want, you can able to select. After that, there is a road color we can able to change. Okay. And this point, whatever point we have selected, we can change the symbol of that point. So this way, very easily, we can able to digitize in ArcGIS Pro and the same data we can able to add in our, we can able to digitize in Google Earth Google Pro Earth. and we can able to add in ArcGIS Pro.